Since the Wright brothers first took to the skies, our love for flying has only soared higher. Today, over 3.5 billion people jet across the globe each year. That's nearly half the world's population up in the air. Thanks to advancements in technology, aircraft design and fuel efficiency, flying is faster and more cost-effective than ever. But as air travel demand skyrockets, the world needs bigger, better and more efficient airports. That's where these incredible multi-billion dollar future airport projects come in, designed to meet the global surge in travelers with the most advanced, efficient and expansive aviation hubs ever imagined. Let's start with the Manila International Airport. The Manila International Airport is shaping up to be the most expensive project in the Philippines ever. Its overall cost is estimated to be around 12 billion US dollars. This mega project will feature top notch terminals and facilities spread across a 2,500 hectare area with plans for four runways. That's enough space to handle 100 million passengers each year. Beyond the airport, there's going to be a new residential area and an industrial zone, complete with a seaport. All this will be just a 30-minute ride from Metro Manila, thanks to new expressways and railways, including a scenic route crossing Manila Bay. Airport jams are a big headache, causing flight delays and frustrations. The current Ninoy Aquino International Airport loses over $10 billion a year because of these holdups. Without new airports like this, the problem will only get worse. Philippines has a very good future. In fact, when our new airport is finished by 2026 with four parallel runway, wow, you'll see tourists coming in. The airport, also known as Bulacan International Airport, is a pet project of Ramon Ang from San Miguel Corporation. He's teamed up with Jacobs Engineering Group, the same folks who designed the famous Singapore Changi Airport, to make sure we're building a world-class hub. Once it's up and running, this airport is expected to put the Philippines on the map as a major player in Asia. It will boost tourism, attract investments, and make our industries from manufacturing to tech more competitive. Just think, reaching 20 million tourists could create around 40 million new jobs. Number two, Western Sydney Airport Now let's look at the exciting developments at the new Western Sydney Airport, a massive $11 billion project that's set to transform the continent of Australia. While some locals are still wondering if this long-talked-about airport, a conversation piece since the 1940s, will ever happen, the signs of progress are clear. Roads are popping up and old buildings are making room for new structures. What's super exciting is the boost this airport will give to the local economy. We're not just talking about more flights, this means jobs, better transportation and a stronger local economy. Set to open in 2026, it's expected to handle 10 million passengers a year, about the same as the Gold Coast Airport. But there's more on the horizon. The plan is to grow as big as Adelaide's airport in five years, and by 2050, a second runway might help it serve 82 million passengers a year. The design is also something to talk about. It features a cutting-edge baggage system that sends your bag zooming from under the terminal right to your plane. The terminal itself will be a cool spot to hang out with shops, cafes and places to hold events like food festivals. Then there's the hot topic of transport links. Everyone's debating the best way to connect the airport to the rest of Sydney, from extending current rail lines to building new ones. These decisions are going to be crucial for the city's future, affecting property values and city planning for a long time. Number 3. Hong Kong International Airport Back in the 90s, Hong Kong really needed a new airport, but there was hardly any space to build one because the city was so packed and surrounded by mountains. So what did they do? They built more land by filling in a chunk of the ocean and plopped down what turned out to be the world's biggest airport terminal back then. Jump to today and that airport is maxed out. They're spending a massive $18 billion to make it bigger. When it opened in 1998, Hong Kong International Airport was a big deal set up on an artificial island with all the latest stuff and two runways that served 28 million people in just the first year. The airport's in a prime spot, right between the West and China's booming markets. It's so well-placed that it's just a five-hour flight from nearly half the people in the world, 
which really helped its numbers shoot up. After adding bits and pieces in 2007 and 2011, it was still not enough. So they came up with a huge plan called Master Plan 2030, which is like building a new airport right next to the old one. They're adding a new runway that's 3.8 kilometers long on even more reclaimed land, which will help handle 100 million passengers and about 9 million tons of cargo every year. They're also throwing in a massive new area for passengers, over 280,000 square meters big, connected to an even bigger Terminal 2. This all ties together with a longer automated people mover that zips up to 10,800 passengers every hour, making sure everyone gets around quickly and without any fuss. Behind the scenes, a new $500 million high-speed baggage handling system will speed up operations, moving bags three times faster than before. Smart technologies will streamline the departure process, improving the overall passenger experience. To support the expected increase in passenger numbers, existing road and transport systems will also be expanded, enhancing connections to mainland China and the city itself. An additional 6.5 square kilometers of land north of the current airport is being reclaimed using an environmentally friendlier method known as deep cement mixing. This technique stabilizes the soil without the need for harmful dredging. Despite the setbacks caused by the 2020 travel collapse, the project has pushed forward, with passenger numbers expected to bounce back before its completion in 2024. Once finished, this megaproject is projected to contribute 4.6% to Hong Kong's GDP by 2030, securing its future as a competitive hub in the global economy. Number 4. Frankfurt International Airport now let's talk about the huge $4 billion makeover of Frankfurt International Airport, one of Europe's busiest spots. Located in the financial core of Germany, this expansion is set to welcome even more visitors every year. Frankfurt is already Germany's biggest airport, and with this upgrade, it's about to get a lot bigger, boasting connections to 330 destinations, that's almost as many places as you'd find in half of Manhattan. So. Why all this construction? Frankfurt Airport has been a popular gateway for a long time, which means it's had to grow a bit here and there over the years. Originally built to manage 54 million passengers a year, by the 90s it was clear that wasn't enough room anymore. That's when they started dreaming up Terminal 3, to be built over an old American military base in the south part of the airport. They're rolling out the expansion in three parts. Phase 1 is all about getting the main bits built, the main terminal hall, two piers, H and J, a new control tower, and all the roads and systems around them. If more and more people keep flying into Frankfurt, they'll kick off phases two and three, adding two additional piers, G and K, after Terminal 3 opens in 2026. What's in it for you when you visit? Terminal 3 is going to have a cool drive-in area and a high-tech parking garage that fits 8,500 cars. If you prefer not to drive, the Skyline, a driverless train, will zip you from the airport's train station to the new terminal in just eight minutes. The main attraction at Terminal 3 will be the huge three-part main hall. Upstairs is all about departures right off the drive-in spot, and downstairs will handle all the arrivals. After you're through security, you'll step into a futuristic market and lounge area under a shiny, wavy steel ceiling that plays with the daylight to create a cool, shimmering effect, making the whole place feel extra special. The piers themselves will be modular, allowing for future expansion. Each will feature a distinct interior design, but maintain a consistent theme of comfort and convenience. Despite the construction adjustments brought by the COVID pandemic, which saw a dramatic drop in passenger numbers, the project has made significant progress. Pier G, prioritized during the construction shift, was completed in April 2022, but remains temporarily out of operation until 2026. Challenges such as underwater concrete fixing by industrial divers and the intricate placement of the terminal's massive roof have been met with innovative solutions, ensuring the project stays on track. Upon completion in 2026, Terminal 3 is expected to significantly boost the airport's capacity by 19 million visitors annually, 
providing numerous job opportunities and further solidifying Frankfurt's position as a key international hub. Number 5. Chicago's O'Hare International Airport O'Hare Airport has been a major player since it kicked off commercial flights in the mid-1950s. Originally a military production hub during World War II, it transformed into an airport that introduced a lot of the features we now expect when we fly. Despite its rich history and handling over 80 million travellers in a typical year, it's been wrestling with issues like delays, jams and old facilities, which hasn't made it a favourite among flyers. That's where O'Hare 21 comes into play, a massive $8.5 billion makeover set to totally revamp this legendary airport by 2028. This project aims to secure O'Hare's spot as a top-tier international hub, making sure it meets the needs and wants of today's travellers. One of the most thrilling updates is the new $2.2 billion global terminal, which will take over where Terminal 2 stands now. Dreamed up by Studio Ord and spearheaded by the famous Studio Gang, this terminal is inspired by the Chicago River. Its unique Y shape and a cool roof design topped with a glass oculus are all about letting in more natural light and saving energy. The design aims to make the terminal feel like a bustling Chicago street, complete with spots for events and hanging out. And it's not just for show, there's a big focus on making things work better too. They've already reworked the runways, bumping up the number from 6 to 8. This change is crucial for cutting down on wait times and boosting the airport's ability to manage more planes coming and going, which helps everything run a lot smoother. Alongside the new global terminal, O'Hare 21 is rolling out two new satellite concourses. These concourses will have versatile gates that can handle both big and small planes. They're building these ahead of the main terminal construction to keep the airport running smoothly without any hitches. Once everything's done, these new parts will majorly increase both the capacity and efficiency of the airport. There's also a cool tech side to this big project. They're using modern tools like Ignite to manage the huge piles of data this kind of major construction throws up. The software lets the teams work together in real time, making sure all the important stuff, from design plans to drone videos, is safe and easy to get to. Over at Terminal 5, they're also making some big changes. They're adding new gates and updating the baggage systems. This terminal has gotten some flack in the past, so these upgrades are key to making travel smoother and more enjoyable for passengers. Number 6. Red Sea International Airport This extravagant airport is the highlight of the $28 billion Red Sea project. This initiative aims to turn over 28,000 square kilometres of untouched landscapes into a top-tier tourist hotspot complete with luxury hotels, residential spaces, and places for shopping, working, and playing. With 90 islands, volcanic features, and lush mountains, it's the perfect spot for a tourism boom. The Red Sea International Airport, designed by the acclaimed Foster & Partners and Jacobs, is more than just a gateway to luxury. It's a crucial link for other big projects in Saudi Arabia. Its location is so strategic that 80% of the world's population can get there in less than 8 hours, making it a key connection point between Africa, Asia and Europe. What really makes this airport stand out is its commitment to sustainability. It aims to be the first carbon-neutral airport in the Middle East, powered entirely by renewable energy. The design incorporates eco-friendly practices like banning single-use plastics and using smart, energy-efficient building methods that lessen the environmental impact. The terminal's design, with its natural curves echoing the desert and sea, features five dome-like pods that each handle different terminal activities. These pods are nestled in green spaces, creating a peaceful vibe. The roofs extend to offer natural shade, while the building's orientation and materials keep things cool without much artificial cooling. This airport is tailored for ultra-luxury travel. Forget traditional baggage claims, luggage goes right to guests' hotel rooms. With high-end spas, upscale shops and fine dining, it's all about elevating the travel experience. 
As the project moves forward, the airport is set to handle up to 1 million passengers annually by 2030, focusing mainly on tourists. The impact will be huge, not just for Saudi Arabia, but for the whole region, boosting trade, tourism and job opportunities. Number 7. Dubai World Central DWC. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai's ruler, has greenlit this epic project aimed at taking Dubai World Central DWC, to new heights. This $35 billion expansion will surpass the current capacities of Dubai International Airport, which has led the globe in international traffic for over a decade. The plan is to expand the airport across more than 27 square miles, adding five parallel runways, four terminals, and an unbelievable 400 gates. Once finished, DWC will be able to handle up to 260 million passengers and over 13 million tons of cargo yearly. To give you an idea, Dubai International Airport saw about 87 million passengers at its peak in 2023. The initial phase, expected to wrap up by 2034, will crank up the airport's capacity to 150 million passengers annually. This includes building Concourse 1, which will be as big as all three concourses at Dubai International put together. It's designed with 100 contact gates for easy boarding right from the terminal, streamlining the travel process significantly. But there's more than just size to this expansion. They're also creating an airport city around DWC. This urban area will be home to a million people and will link seamlessly to Dubai via various transport networks. It's all part of Dubai's grand plan to evolve into a global hub for business, tourism and transport, driving the Emirates' move away from oil dependency. With Saudi Arabia rapidly enhancing its airport facilities as part of Vision 2030, including a $7.2 billion expansion of King Salman International Airport in Riyadh, Dubai's ambitious plans are arriving just in time. The Saudis are aiming to boost their capacity to 185 million passengers by 2050. With cutting-edge technology and infrastructure, from eco-friendly building methods to the latest in passenger amenities, DWC is set to maintain its lead in the fast-evolving world of global aviation. As we watch this project unfold, Dubai is set not only to maintain its status as a key regional transportation and logistics hub, but to also redefine what airports of the future will look like. So what are your thoughts on these mega airport projects? How do you think they will impact global air travel dynamics? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds so that we keep bringing you these exciting mega build videos.